everybody, how you doing? This is Alec Hay, and today I'm so excited to share with you an unboxing of some new gear that I just got. Some of you might know that I've actually been picked, picking up some more surf fishing. I've been going a little bit more often nowadays, and it's heading into the winter. So I am getting a bit cold out there. I normally go into the water. I'm about knee deep, and I'm freezing when I'm out there. So. Um, I was asking uh, about some different solutions that uh, my friends have done and they recommended me to get some waders. So I already have waders of course for the go float tube fishing with the stocking feet and um, they've been working pretty well for the longest time. Um, I have gotten some leaks lately and I'm in the midst, middle of fixing them but as we're heading into the winter season now it's starting to look more and more like I'm going to need some new waders. So I decided to go ahead and pick up a pair of new waders with boots. And uh, when I kind of put the call out to see what is around, um, a company came up that I'd never heard of before um, named Decathlon. So Decathlon is a, uh, what I understand is like either a Spanish or Italian company. They have a, a stores all around the world, but there's actually two in the United States and they're in Northern California. So uh, I decided to give them a try. The prices are super reasonable. They talk about, um, quality and, and, and being great prices, very similar to Cast King, but um, this is in terms of all their types of gear and stuff. So we're going to unbox this and give you my first impressions about how I how this looks and uh, see if it works out. Thanks. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, open this box and see how the Cathlon is. Uh -huh. They shipped it pretty quickly. I just uh, placed the order on um, I think Monday or Tuesday. They're having all kinds of deals, and I got two things actually. The first thing is a little bait bucket, and they have two different brands. This is Capperland, um, their version. So this is a little bait bucket that you have. It's actually broken, right there. So that's a bad news. Bad news. I don't know if it's in here or not, but uh, I will be reaching out to them, and I guess it's going to be a good testament to see how their customer service is on that right now. So I can tell you that that's already broken, and this seems like a pretty standard bait bucket it was cost about six bucks um their stuff is actually made in france so there's that and that'll be just fine for me when i'm using it it's got like a little strap on there and it's gonna attach to the back here and i'm gonna attach this to my flow tube so i can just kind of have a live bait bucket um, attached to the tube this is exactly what i was looking for with all the holes in there and the mesh and they're not too big enough for the live bait to get through but um like i said it is broken so we're gonna contact them about that Next thing is the the waders. Again, this is the Capperland brand, and these have boots to them. So my other waders are stocking foot, so that I can use it with my fins. These ones actually have boots, and we're going to see how the quality is. Already, I really like the bag, um, and they have a little tie strap here with a little uh, cinch thing here, and we will open it up. So the main thing that we're looking for here is we want to see how the quality is, we want to see how the stitching is, and see how waterproof these things look. Um, so right now we have this type of glue running up and down against the, the, the boots to the wader itself. Um, there is excess glue kind of coming through, so uh, it still should be waterproof hopefully, but uh, we're going to be giving these a try. The material is supposed to be breathable. And they look pretty standard, really. They have an internal little pocket here. That's going on here. I'm not sure what's inside there, but uh, this is going to be inside of you, inside of your thing here. And oh, you have an extra strap that's that's just kind of tucked away in there. These uh, will fit onto you. Where they have the uh, same type of uh, harnesses as my other brand, and they look pretty standard. The seams are stitched, so that's nice. And uh, hopefully, will this thing also cinch tight too? Or is that maybe what that's for? One thing I was really looking forward to seeing is if this part right here that's gonna fit around your, your top part here is actually gonna cinch tight too. But they do have elastic on the side, so maybe that'll cinch up just fine. But overall, the, oh, here's, this must be, this is the, um, the belt loop, so it must be the case that when you put these on, you use that belt that's tucked away in there to actually just use it as a belt. Nice style. It's got the name here written on the side here. The boots look pretty nice. Um, I was told that they run large, so um, I actually got a size that was uh, 
Can you hear me? And yeah, they feel they feel great. These are uh, pretty cheap. I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks for the boot side, uh, breathable weeders. And um, in here, very similar to how I do it in the float tube, I'll be wearing a pair of sweats in here too. So um, yeah, pretty excited about this. This is nice. These are a nice little setup here. Like I said, it's, the seams are all stitched up inside there to, to uh, increase the water resistance. The boots, they attach. I don't know what it looks like inside there, but I'm gonna be giving these things a try on to see how they fit and, uh, and also comfort wise in the surf. And uh, we'll be coming to you and seeing how that works. We'll let you know. Okay, so we try them on. Actually, the boots are, um, they do run large. So just to give you kind of an idea is that I normally wear a size 10. Um, these boots are rated nine, nine and a half. Um, I was told that they run large, and they actually do run large because these will easily fit me. Um, if I put socks on, there'll be no problem either, but I don't have any socks on with this. But uh, as of right now, I mean, it fits pretty well. I am chubby, so um, it is fitting a little bit tighter on top, but it is elastic. That's exactly what I was looking for to make sure that it would be, um, you know, not so open so that we could, water could just dump in there. So it feels pretty good. I'm going to be putting that belt on here, um, and I'll probably be wearing my... Um, my uh, uh, fishing uh, uh, belt when I'm using this also. So I'll just replace the regular belt for the, uh, the little pocket uh, hip uh, item that I use there. These uh, feel really nice though, overall, and I'm pretty stoked on it because I can now get to the surf and uh, run around and uh, hopefully it'll keep me warm. Um, yeah, feels really good. I don't know how they will be when they get wet, but we're gonna give it a try later on too. See you in the surf. Okay, so as I was taking this thing off, I realized right away, well actually when I unwrapped this thing, I saw this little rubber in the back of the boot and I was like, gee, I wonder what that's for. Maybe that's just for um, style or something. I wasn't sure what it was. It actually helps you take the boot off. That's what's going on there. So I was wondering how I'm gonna get this thing off, but you just pull, down on this, the boot slides right off of your foot. It's really interesting how they thought about that. I don't know if that's a normal feature or not with with uh, boot leaders. I've never had them before, but that is really cool. So, anyways, uh, th the thing just slid right off, no problem whatsoever, and I'm pretty excited about giving them a try in the surf. Just thought I'd add that. Hey everybody! So today we are at Seabridge Park, and we're going to be trying out the waders in the water here. I figure it's a nice place to give it a try. Um, and I'm actually putting them on in the parking lot because I wanted to see how comfortable these boots are as well. So I'm going to walk over to the beach, kind of simulate a regular beach walking to see if these things are any good. Um, really, I was thinking about last night, when wearing these types of boots, I know they're going to be kind of thicker and rubber. I'm actually going to end up probably buying some like dress socks or something made out of cotton to wear underneath here. Just so I can keep them kind of clean without having to wash them out because I can't invert these things like I do with a normal stocking. So I'm going to put these things on. And uh, we're going to give it a try in the water. See you there. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and give it a try and head into the water. Come on. Already I can tell you that the boots are actually very comfortable. I'll walk the whole path to the home at home. I don't feel like they're too flat or anything. How does it feel? I can feel some of the coolness of the of the water coming through, but it's not actually going into the waders. They're just actually in you know the, the coolness of the outside of the uh, the pants. The waders themselves, I mean, they feel very comfortable. They are a little bit floating, where I, I'm feeling like I want to kind of come up a little bit. For the, for the most part, it's all just uh, it's regular. I feel like I'm completely dry and like a little balloon. It feels like I'm a little balloon guy. Very nice. Yeah, this will work out just great. So already I really like the way these things feel. I like the way that they look. I, again, I am a little bit chubby, so it's a little harder to put it on, but I do like the fact that there's elastic on the side. The, uh, the suspenders are easy to put on. And this little pocket here is really nice because it makes your keys, you can put your keys in here and your wallet, everything really nice and functional. So it's pretty cool. These are a great bargain. The Cathalon, I suggest them. 
Um, I think again, I saw that Decathlon has a lot of responses based in like uh, uh, Spanish and in Italian. So I am actually thinking that it's a French, maybe Italian company that they are putting it out. And again, they're all over the world, but here in the United States, there's only two retail stores in Northern California. Can't really find them down here, but they have some great deals. Free shipping for only $30. You just gotta get $30 and that's some really cool stuff. So um, thus far, I'm pretty excited about it. I did get that one defective uh, bait bucket, but then I got these and they, they're awesome. So we're gonna see how the customer service is. I did email them and they're gonna, we're gonna see about their response and I'll follow up with everybody. So for now, take care everybody. This is Alakai. Talk to you later.